Good morning everyone in YouTube land, all my friends, my family, my video subscribers. This is John Michael. Um, I don't have the camera turned on me because I'm just out of the bed and I've been working like 12 hours a day if not more the past few days on our house. We're in our apartment now. We're trying to get out of here and move into the manor. Um, and of course you see my three cats here. That's Jasper Dale right there on the left. Say hi Jasper. The Siamese. And then this is Mr. Pan as in paying the Lord of the Forest because he come out of the woods and was a little kitten and it's a little it's a little story to go with it but that's why his name is Pan and this is Miss Emma she's Siamese too but she's outside because she don't get along with nobody Miss Emma can't get along anyway guys the reason why that I'm doing this video and we're focusing on the cats too we're gonna be talking about omens and nature and animal omens um, insect omens you guys see what I'm talking about Okay, um, like, maybe a week ago, if that, I was leaving the apartment, and there was a baby bat at my door, and it was like, you know, so big around, you know, it covered, like, right in here, okay, this is the front, uh, balcony or whatever on our apartment, and it was out there, and I'm thinking, okay, it's like a huge locust, small bird, something, you know what I mean, and Miss Emma was outside messing with it, and I'm like, get back, and I looked, and it was a bat, it scared me to death, I'm like, oh my god, so, you know, and it was screeching and this, that, and the other. I trapped it underneath that vase that's right there and kind of pushed it where it could get out from underneath the, the, the cracks here. And it flew over into the neighborhood right there. And its wingspan, uh, I'm guessing it was, all, it was probably with the wingspan, it was at least 24 inches long. Which is, you know, like two feet. Um, it was crazy. Okay. And I had uh, some thoughts of my own about when I seen a bat. What might that mean? And I ran it by a, a good friend of mine um, and seen what her thoughts were about it. And basically, um, we're talking about with bats, it could be somebody spying on you, cyber stalking you uh, spiritually, you know, uh, trying to see what you got going on or physically. Uh, people, you know, being nosy. Uh, get out, Emma. She's trying to be on camera. Um, it could also mean uh, increased need for protection, calling for darker work or shadow work. That was my one of my girlfriend's answers, you know, and that, that's too what I'm thinking too. Also, along those same lines, it could also be somebody that's, uh, you know, uh, I'm not saying like vampires or whatever, but I'm saying like people that are trying to see what you got going on to, you know, not really like a succubus or whatever, but like a uh, increased need for protection is what I'm saying. Like, you know, when uh, uh, the bat. Um, I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to say here. Um, when I'm talking about, you know, the whole vampire thing, talking about bats or whatever. Uh, you know, increased need for protection. You know, those people that are coming at you out of the dark forces that are trying to, you know, suck what you got going or lead you away from enlightenment, spiritual path or whatever, you know, calling to darker work and all. That also kind of co plays coincides, excuse me, with what uh, my girlfriend was saying. But, okay. Then, you guys, I come back home the other night, and it's dark, and there is a possum out here on the front porch, which is absolutely crazy. Okay? I'm getting all these animal signs and totems and stuff, okay? There is a possum on my front porch. Okay? Which, I mean, it's not uncommon for here in the South, you know, for even here in the in the township, in the city or whatever, to have, you know, a possum or a raccoon or something, you know, to, to see one. But the stuff that I'm seeing, like, simultaneously is absolutely crazy. Um, because over on this other set of apartments that are over here on this side or whatever, you can see there's, like, a wooded area back there, but still. Um, you know, um, a possum is crazy to me because it has the ability to deceive people properly in order to save oneself like you know it plays dead um utilizes you know talents you know uh, that you know for scavenging for food and you know it, it's just it's just wild so again to me that is another protection again uh proper use of deception you know like playing dead and to fool your enemies you know to make them go away or whatever you know that's that's crazy okay then let's go outside then, hey, let me see me. Look at this spider that's over here. This is right here at my front entrance. Look at this. Now, 
Now, wild guys, look at that. And I mean, mind you, it's it's August and it's still getting up to 100 degree days. And look how close the spider is to the house, like it's almost fall, winter time. They only do that during that time. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna walk back inside because there's people everywhere and they're like, what is he talking to? <laughs> but basically, yeah, and you know, look again, a spider web is a very protective symbol in my opinion. You know, the web, to me the spider's web, um, that's its home, that's its safe zone, it's protected in there because, um, you know, the web catches, it filters, you know, think about like the dream catcher. Um, here I'm going to go again, I'm going to reference, you know, um, like building and construction because the spider is its own architect. It constantly builds every day, tears down and rebuilds the next day. Uh, it's its safe haven, its nest, uh, its protective shield. Like I said, things filter through it, things get caught in it, you know. Um, there again, that's a very protective symbol for me as a spider. And like it's its own architect, you know, kind of like I am. You guys that really know me know how I am by construction and about symbology and all. And I can very well identify with the spider. Um, look at this. These are two armchairs that I have in my home. You know, I have spiderweb patterns like everywhere. Um, I am even have some glass panes in my sunroom that are going to have a spiderweb pattern that I'm going to do with a uh, leading. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there, guys, about... Uh, watching what's going on in nature around you, what's going on that time in your life when you're seeing this stuff. Um, get out there with your witchy friends that you really trust. Bounce ideas back and off and forth with each other about what you think you're seeing. Um, you know, always be aware of your surrounding, which is, okay, blessings. <laughs>